如果用乐高复刻并替换掉房间的原物品，让路人来观察，能被发现几个？ Telephone, 看了上期逆天的徒手造风扇，除了风扇，房间里还有很多大型物品可以选择。机油组拿到的是打字机，看似很难，实则非常不简单。他们仔细掂量了一下，当场后悔，因为要处理的细节实在是太多了。而且打字机的沙绿色是乐高最少见的颜色之一，只在自由女神像和尤达大师的套装里才有。这时候可能就有人说了，乐高出过打字机套装，自带教程就没意思了。往下看就知道，大师赛还真没有偷懒的机会，因为打字机是正对椅子、背对嘉宾位置的，所以背面的还原至关重要。为了骗过嘉宾，他们甚至还原了阴影里的齿轮。Wow. 百分百去颗粒化的打字机，质感极度光滑，规整干净的细节背后，显示出对每一种乐高零件的掌握。键盘、滚针、齿轮，打字机的边缘换了阴影色，看起来更像真实的纸张。This that's very good, isn't it? My work here is done. It's very good. Change because stupid. So did we deliberately include things like a chair and a desk, hoping that Kale would try and build something massive? 自富哥果然试图带走椅子，但还好队友 Trent 有一票否决权，选择了收音机。但自富哥依旧对椅子怀有执念。I am not happy with the choice of the radio. 秉承着题不一定会做，但翻卷声音一定要响的宗旨，自富哥评价对面长发组的电风扇其实更简单。The difficulty of what's been chosen versus, say, a fan, for example, sake. I disagree with you on that one, but. Really? I reckon that was the you, easiest. You the, think the that's the are, easiest? The texture is are right. Are you fair dinkum? Are you fair dinkum? I'm fair dinkum. I don't write the fan. I don't write the fan. He throws a lot of shade for a small man. 为了还原收音机的木纹，字符哥想出了一种神奇的拼搭方法。只是这小小一块就用了五百多个零件。That stuff is mind-bogglingly cool. So that technique that you've done in terms of the wood paneling and stuff, awesome. 很多山格件和黄色地板组合在一起，做成了喇叭网。侧面耗尽无数砖块做成的木纹质感，但顶部的缺陷很明显，凸起并且带有很多裂纹，拉低了整体的还原度。下一期。